Hey guys, Jamstrap here, and welcome back to another Kid Bash video. In this one, I'm going to be Kid Bashing, Kid Bashing, I should say, this Sergeant Jovan, which is one of the store anniversary special models. And I thought because he's got such a badass pose and everything, he just just screams out that he wants to be a wolf lord. Or you can make him a battle leader or whatever you want to do, depending on how you want to kill him up. But in this video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to go about it, and you can maybe get some I know, ideas or techniques you want to try out or something like that. You can kind of learn from my mistakes and see what I do. So yeah, let's get straight into it. I'll show you guys what I'm going to be using and the tools and stuff you might need. Okay, so let's start with the obvious thing. So you you might need some clippers for well, obviously getting all the parts of the sprues, but obviously for snipping some bits if you need it. Hobby knife, definitely. You're going to be... Kit bashing always requires a lot of snipping. Some plastic glue or super glue, depends whatever tickles your pickle, I guess. And this bad boy, little tiny little drill bit. I don't actually know what size this thing is, so just find the smallest ones you can. It's always handy to have, especially when you're doing like gun barrels and all that kind of stuff. All right, so now for the actual bits I'm going to be using. Now, if you look in the the wolfen kit for the space wolves, they come with a lot of axes. Now, I've chosen this one because a lot of axes you get in primary stuff and all that, they're always like single edged or single bladed, I don't know how you would call it. And I figured, you know, go for a double one that seems a bit more, I don't know, regal. It's kind of got that ice frost axe kind of thing going on. I just thought it looks pretty badass. So, yeah, that's the axe I've chosen, but there's a, a lot of them you can choose from if you want it. Obviously, if you want to use this guy as a sergeant or something, maybe you want to kid bash him up to a certain point, but still keep him as a sergeant, then you'll just use the, the chain axe that comes with the kit. Or you could put a power sword in there, which will probably be easier than this, or whatever weapon you want, but you'll see what I'll be doing with it later. So that's my choice for that. Now, I've got this back piece from the old Space Wolves upgrade kit, not the new one, or the Primaris ones. So I got this. Hopefully it's going to work out. Oh, another tool you might need, by the way, I forgot to mention, is green stuff. So depending if how strictly you follow me, if I'm cutting this, I'm guessing I'm probably going to need some green stuff to fill in some gaps and stuff like that. But I'm going to be cutting the back out of this, and hopefully that's going to fit in quite nice. Another thing from the upgrade sprue is this wolfy head. Let's see if I can focus. Oh, no, that's made it worse. There we go, that's a bit better. So I feel like this guy's hair kind of goes with the flow of the mini, the way everything is blowing. It's a bit more, I don't know, royalty looking. He kind of looks like he'd be leading a, a crew. Now the actual head you get with this mini is pretty cool to be honest. I've seen some people on Instagram actually green stuff some like beard onto it and stuff like that. It's really cool. But I'm not that talented, so I'm just going to use this head because I think it looks pretty badass, it's pretty special, and yeah, it definitely screams, I don't know, Wolf Lord to me. Another one from there is that kit comes with quite a lot of cool shoulder pads. I've gone for this one because the outlining trim is the same kind of like boxy shape to the other one, it's just a bit more cool, so it matches up. Then obviously you got the Primaris, oh sorry, zoom in here. You got the Primaris upgrade kit little necklace. This is the little bomb thing from his pack. And he's gonna see if I, a lot of these are actually maybes. That one, that one, and this over here are things I might put on if they can fit. And obviously the chainsaw attached to the orc's head, which I'm gonna be replacing with that, hopefully. Anyway. So let's get started with that. You guys see what you need or you can get your own versions of it and follow along. So let's get cracking. Because this is a kind of a limited edition special mini, I don't want to change too much. I want to keep it quite recognizable to what it is. So obviously staying on an orc here, if you don't want that, you can obviously replace it with some, I don't know, some stones, make a little mountainy ledge or another, I don't know, a Chaos Space Marine or something like that. But I want to try and keep it as similar as I can. So with that in mind, with the shoulder pad you normally get with this guy, is this one here. As you can see, it's quite battle damaged. It's got little pock marks, it's got things like that. So what I'm gonna do is, 
with my version of shoulder pad I'm going to do, I'm going to be adding in the park marks in a similar position so you can kind of, if or the, aesthetically it fits in with the rest of the armor because he's, he's quite uh, worn down with like battle bullet wounds and stuff like that. So if you have a nice clean shoulder pad it's not going to make any sense. So I'm going to try and mimic that so it kind of fits in with what it was before but just a bit more wolfy. Yeah, I normally use like the tip of my hobby knife to do a little pilot hole before using my drill bit or something like that for like gun barrels. I'm going to use this for a reference so I'm going to put this on the side. So I'm going to keep that and kind of say okay where is it matched up. So quite close to the one corner. I'm sorry if this is not quite focused in. It's going to be quite difficult to do off camera. I mean on camera. So first near the corner round about there there's kind of a a wound there so make it a little pilot hole there we go so you kind of know where that's going to be going and then there's a bigger one just slightly above there now i'm going to show you how i'll do one of these and then i'll cut it there because you guys can do this yourself really let's go into this piece here oh, hold on let me try and make that a bit bigger Just twist it like that. Don't want to go too deep. And then stick that in there. Like I said, I just want to cut the surface a little bit. Doesn't have to be massive. See, I think I might have actually gone a bit too deep with the, the knife there. But you kind of see what I'm going for. Now with the next one, this one has to be a bit bigger actually. So I yeah, definitely go smaller on the first one. See, like that would have been better for the first one. That looks much better. So I went too deep with the other thing. So let's go a couple more turns. So that's quite wide. And if you look in the uh, the reference here, this has almost got like two holes. There's the big hole and then there's like another, like the different layers of the cer ceramite. And all the different layers on there. So I'm going to go back in with my hobby knife and I'm going to make one smaller kind of hole there and maybe so it's not so uniform I'm just gonna sorry I'll try this focused I'm gonna scuff it up a little bit just go around like that and yeah that's pretty much that like I said I wish I went a bit small on the first one but that one's overlapping that one kind of similar to the other thing so yeah i'm going to do that for a couple things there's also like quite a few smaller park marks so for that like there's one around about here just do like a little pilot hole thing just do that and like say so you can scuff up the edges a bit if you want to and i think there's like a slit over here just cut that out and i'll do that and get back to you guys and boom, that's that done. Don't know if it comes up too well. Obviously, there's a little bit of cleaning up, but once you've painted over and stuff like that, yeah, like I said, the two original holes probably a bit too deep, but once it's painted and primed, hopefully that won't be too bad. It's got varying pock marks everywhere if they're coming up, but yeah, just you can rough it up as much as you want or whatever. But I'm gonna stick to that. I don't want to go too over the top on it. So the next part we have to do is with the original mini, it's kind of got this little, I don't know what you call it, like a little peg, so you get it in there. Now we're going to want to snip that off and, and then make it a bit more circular. So get your little clipper, just snip most of that off and then we'll, you can either use a file or the other, like your hobby knife, the way I normally do it is take the knife like this kind of angle not cutting wise just dragging it along apologize for the <laughs> the noise that it makes and yeah just lightly drag that over the surface and it kind of pulls the layers off and you can smooth it off like that do a little dry fit to see if it fits nicely and okay that's that i think that fits in pretty well next thing we can get to is the head so obviously depending on what head you want to do you can choose one for yourself but i've chosen that one i'm going to 
I'm just going to pop it in there. You guys don't really have to see that, but I've done a dry fitting to see if it'll work. Because he's got this hair, he wouldn't normally fit in normal Primaris dude. But because the way this guy's looking, he's looking upwards, kind of like that. So I'm not getting this very well with my sausage fingers. You can get a pretty good pose with this head without the hair hindering the position. So I'm going to stick that in, show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so that's on. Like I said before, the way the primaries have these little like ridges around their, hel their necks, whatever you call it. A lot of Space Wolf older heads don't fit anymore because their beards and their hair and stuff. But because the way this guy's standing and looking up and forward, this actually fits perfect. You kind of see the, the angle he's looking looks pretty good. And like I said it before in some of my kid bashing videos, especially like the repulsor one and stuff like that. Always pay attention to the movement of your model. Like see he's got this bit of cloth down here. It's kind of going that way, and his hair's going that way. Kind of try to stick to that, imagine the wind's blowing that way. Another thing you guys could do, by the way, is if you're green stuffing and if you're competent enough, or should I say confident enough, you can green stuff from some fur on top of that, but I'm not sure if I'll be doing that yet. Okay, so like I said previously, if you're doing like a, a power sword or something, this will be way easier. Just snip this chain axe out of that. And because it's like a flat surface, it goes in pretty good. But because I'm doing a double-ended axe, this is going to take a lot more work. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to snip this out of here. Try not to damage the orc's head. So going to be quite mindful of where we're cutting here. So let's start off with just getting the bulk of this out. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this at a nice flat angle. Because in the future, I might want to stick this into, I don't know, Maybe put that onto a, a primary like sergeant's um, base or something like he's just stuck it into the floor or gone into another miniature or something like that. So I'm going to keep that for future kit bashing. Never be wasteful. So that can go in somewhere quite nicely now. Anyway, so I'm going to try and snip this away without messing it up while doing it on camera. Alright, so I've got most of the big chunks away. I'm going to have to go into it with a, the hobby knife now. So this is going to take quite close precision to get nice and neat. So I'm going to do this off camera and get back to you guys. But obviously, if you guys are doing it, just be patient, be careful. Don't slice yourself up. Okay, so I've got that pretty neatly snipped so far. So I've kept the orc head intact. As you can see, not too damaged there. Now, let's see if he still fits onto the actual thing here. Let's have a look-see. Yeah, so he still fits on there. Pretty perfect. But now, obviously, to get the axe in there, it's going to take a lot more clipping. Let's have a look how that's going to work. Okay, so firstly, I'm going to put the axe kind of there. It's kind of where I want it to be. And I will tell you guys, like how to clean it up later if you want to do that because it has hands on it but yeah you can first see where you want to put it and maybe you can adjust the orcs cut the elk's head to that so you could glue that in now like that or you can do it another way but if this thing is too long for you if you don't like that first of all you can snip that little wolf tail off that'll make it look better i think or where the hands are you can snip there snip there and bring that little end bit down and then there's another hand there where i've already cleaned off snip that bring that down so you've cut that thing quite short but yeah we're gonna have a look at how i want to do because that's definitely too messy there's too much going on near his head now so i'm either gonna make this act shorter or i'm gonna cut that little talisman off before i proceed with that i'll show you guys quickly if you are using one of these axes if you're gonna cut one of the hands off all you gotta do is get your little knife and just snip it away like that till you make it flush with the handle and then all you got to do is smooth it out. Like I haven't smoothed this one out. You can either make it real smooth and just, you can even use your hobby knife to kind of make a, a line there. So it kind of looks like that's steel. And then there's the hand grip. Or you can maybe leave it rough like that and you can kind of paint it as wood. That's up to you. But I will get back to that later when I try and clean it up myself. But for now, what I've decided is, because I feel like the axe is a bit too long, especially with that little talisman at the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip the talisman off and I'm going to cut that end there, cut that there, and I'm going to bring that down. So let's do that now. 
So firstly, got to get this on the table and try and cut it quite neat. That's still nice and flush there. And you've got that. You can keep the talisman on there if you want. I'll, I'll dry fit it once it's done. Now the same thing again. Just make sure. Cut off the hand at a nice straight angle. Dry fit that if you want. You can kind of see that will work or not. It might be a bit too short now. For, what, for the size of the axe. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to check what it looks like on the actual mini. So yeah, as you can see, the axe will be going in like that. It's not as intrusive. Get a bit of blue tack on there if you want, if you wanted to check that out. But I'm pretty sure I might be cutting that off. But yeah, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna stick a bit of blue tack on there. Put that there so you can kind of see what that would look like if you stuck the talisman bit on there. But I personally think it's probably still a bit too busy for me. I snipped a little wolf tail off there. Stuck the end bit down. Now it's a much shorter weapon. But I think it kind of still works. Kind of like God of War where he's got a giant axe, you know, toting this thing around town, slashing people up. This is going to take a lot of testing as you go along, depending on what weapon you've got and how it fits in there. Like say if you had a sword, it might just slip in there real good. But because I've got to be difficult, it doesn't quite fit. So what I'm going to do is this section here is, here is quite thick. So I'm going to be slicing about like at that angle there cutting a bit of a chunk out there and just kind of doing that coming back testing it blah, blah, blah. and yeah i'm going to do that quickly off screen well not off screen i'm just going to fast forward and yeah see how that works out Well, between snipping of the head a little bit and stuff, and what I might have to do is cut a bit into the shoulder pad here. So at least it will kind of just look like he sliced through it. So I'm going to nip a little bit off there, test, and go back and forth. Okay, so at this point I'm getting confident my that my snipping and dry fitting is getting relatively close to where I want to be. I'm going to stick this head on just so I kind of get a clearer picture of where I'm at. So as you can see, so far I've snipped quite a bit out of the shoulder pad. See, there's quite a big gap in there now. And yeah, see he f that fits in pretty well there. Remember, this is like a massive wound in his neck and he's chopping through his stuff. So he doesn't have to be perfectly clean. In Especially where I've chopped it, I'm going to rough those edges up as well. So it looks like he's been ripped apart. So what you want to do is kind of like triangular cut. So you do cut it from one angle and then do it from the opposite angle. Cuts out nice little slits. Okay, you can do a lot more damage than that if you want to, but I'm going to put this axe in. And to be honest, now that I've kind of figured out the position I want this in, I've kind of seen I might not have had to remove that wolfy talisman. The way I'm going to do it is kind of like that. So it's not too intrusive, actually. But yeah, I'm going to glue that in there now. Just hold that there for a couple seconds. And let it dry, see what happens when I get back. Hey, presto, and there we go. There we've got a wolfy dude chopping it all to bits. See, I think that, if you look at all the angles, it's fitting pretty good. Now the next part, probably the most important and maybe slightly difficult part, is getting the little cloaky bit on the back. Now, if you wanted to, you could leave it right here. You got a wolfy shoulder pad, you got a wolfy head, you got a giant wolfy axe. You, you can pretty much call it there if you don't want to make it too complicated. But I'm going to go that step further because I want this guy to be my main wolf lord for my army. I'll make him a bit special. So yeah, let's get into that. Alright, so this is going to require quite a bit of snipping. And as I always say, just be careful please. So we're going to want to trim this square out here. We want to try and keep the fur intact and cut this body out. So this is going to take quite a bit of work. We're just going to snip little bits as we go try and get this out so we start kind of wherever you want to go just start getting the big chunks out later we'll come in with the with a knife so after a shed ton of clipping and slicing and dicing 
See, as you can see, it's like a plastic all over me. I've kind of gotten to this point. So now we can start doing dry fitting. And obviously, it's hardly now it's going to fit the first time because that looks way too thin of a gap. So we're going to squeeze it in there, see how it works. Keep on snipping and clipping until we get it where we want. Let's have a look, see here. See, we're not too far off, but like I said before, sorry, get that in camera. Definitely too narrow. We want that much higher up. All right, so I'll just show you quickly my dry fit so far. That is almost bang on. And I th think I might not actually need any green stuff. The way it's going up to the top there looks pretty legit. So I think it's just this angle here. It needs a bit more snipping. So that can go up a bit higher. But so far, you can kind of see how this miniature is going to turn out. I'm pretty comfortable with where that's at right now. So as you can see there, if I can show you the end bit there, it kind of goes with the curve of the back. It looks like it might be pinned in if it was real. Yeah, I don't feel like... There's much there that makes it look dodgy, to be honest. I feel pretty happy with that. Like I always say, it goes with the flow of the mini. Like that part, uh, purity seal, sorry. That purity seal is kind of going that way. And these little loincloths going that way. His hair's going that way. There's kind of a movement to the mini. So I'm going to stick that in now and move on to the next bit. Basically... To be honest, if you want to call it at that, that's pretty bang on to me. But there's a couple maybes you can do if you want to bling it up a bit more. So now there's the Primaris necklace bit I've put there. I haven't glued it on yet. That's just a so excuse the filth of my hobby tweezers. So uh, yeah, I've put that in there. Yep, there it goes. That's why I use tweezers. But anyway, yeah, you can put that in there. If, but if you think it might be a bit too much with all that stuff. Another one is you get one of these things from like the Terminator kits and that. You can stick that on. Your shoulder pad, maybe on that one there. I'm just showing you guys this because you know there's lots of options. I might not, might not be doing it, but you might want to consider an extra bit of blinging up. Put that there. One last thing you might want to consider because this guy doesn't have a gun. Now he does have his little pistol thing though. It slits there, and yeah, that will fit in nice and perfect. So that cloak kind of shows the that gun there. So that's pretty bang on. So you can have a an axe and a, you can see he's got a pistol or plasma pistol or something like that but i'm pretty sure this is from the thunderwolf cavalry kit it's kind of like a you can say this is a bolt gun a bolt carbine whatever you want because it's in the little thing you could hang that from there or something like that if you really wanted to just so you can uh whizzy wig him a bit more even though because it's in the holster you can say it's whatever you want. I don't know, hang it from his backpack uh, there. It's actually not a bad idea, to be honest. But yeah, you can chuck that there. Like I said, maybe down there is probably where I would maybe do it. Don't know if it's too much. Might just go for the plasma pistol kind of thing. But I'm going to do all the accessories that I want on here. And then I'm going to cut straight to the showcase with this guy. Okay, one last thing before I cut to the showcase just want to show you guys i added a wolf pelt thing back on there again because i thought it was missing something and i added that talisman down there because that area felt a bit empty to me so i've got that added the pistol on and yeah straight to the showcase all right guys so hopefully you've enjoyed the video hope it's been helpful even though i know kit bashy video is always a bit rough to make because it's not a precise art it's kind of like a go back and forth see if something works i know it's a bit of a rough video to watch and make but hopefully you guys got some ideas learn from my mistakes and if you like videos like this maybe check out my channel and subscribe because i make hobby videos like this every week i've made quite a few space wolf kid bash videos as well if you want to check them out on my channel comment like below and i'll see you in the next one guys bye bye